Hello everybody. Today I will discuss about some elementary properties of patients. Sorry. I will discuss about a theorem. The statement is as follows. If the coefficients of fx is equal to 0 are all real, then the complex roots occur in conjugate pairs. Means अगर कोई इक्वेशन है f x is equal to zero तो इस इक्वेशन का इक्वेशन का जो भी रूट्स होंगे वो हमेशा कॉन्जुगेट पेयर्स में अपेयर होंगे प्रूफ लेट a plus i b be a root of an equation f x is equal to zero with real coefficients where i is equal to under root minus 1 this is an imaginary number and where a but not b may be 0 here a and b are real but b may not be 0 because if b is 0 then this quantity will become purely real because a and b are real so if b is equal to 0 then i b is equal to 0 and a plus i b is equal to a which is a purely real number for this b is restricted to not to be 0 We have to prove that conjugate number a minus i b is also a root of f x equal to 0. Because if a plus i b is a root, then its conjugate is just a minus i b. It is getting after substituting i by minus i. For any conjugate, any complex number, its conjugate will be gotten i substituted by minus i suppose 2 plus 3i is a number then 2 minus 3i is, is its conjugate number so here we have to prove that conjugate number a minus iv is also a root of f x equal to 0 by division algorithm we divide the polynomial fx by the quantity x minus a plus iv into x minus a minus iv. This is equal to x minus a whole square plus b square. Because if you calculate this, this will become x minus a minus i plus b and this will become x minus a plus iv. So you can use a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b formula and you will get x minus a whole square minus i square b square because i is equal to minus 1 so i square is sorry bigger since i is equal to square root of minus 1 so i square must be equal to minus 1 then i minus i square b square becomes plus i square b square so this quantity is equal to this quantity is equal to x minus a whole square plus b square let the quotient be q and the remainder be rx plus r dash then we have fx is equal to 
x minus a plus ib into x minus a minus ib into q plus rx plus r dash. Since a plus ib is a root of the equation, so this a plus ib must satisfy the equation fx is equal to 0 and therefore f of a plus ib is equal to 0 because a plus ib is a root so f a plus ib must be equal to 0. Now, now putting x plus a plus ib in equation number 1 then we have here x is equal to a plus ib and here x is equal to a plus ib minus here a plus ib minus a my a plus of my ib and this quantity will become zero since this quantity will become zero so product of this quantity is equal to zero so therefore f of a plus ib is equal to r a plus ib plus r dash since a a plus ib is equal to zero from the above equation this r a plus i r b plus r dash is equal to zero now separate the real parts and imaginary parts here real parts is r a plus r dash and imaginary part is rb therefore by separation of real and imaginary parts we have ra plus r dash plus irb is equal to 0 since right hand side is equal to 0 so by comparing both sides we get ra plus r dash is equal to 0 and rb is equal to 0 by separating real and imaginary parts now rb is equal to 0 implies that r is equal to 0 as b is equal to 0 gives real number because we have assumed that the complex root a plus ib अगर b 0 हो जाता है तो a plus i b will become a which is purely real number so b not is equal to 0 and here since product of two quantity is equal to 0 either b is equal to 0 or r is equal to 0 since b is not equal to 0 so therefore r must be equal to 0 Similarly, R a plus R dash is equal to 0 gives R dash is equal to 0 because from here we have R is equal to 0. If we put this value R is equal to 0 in this equation, then R dash will be 0. Therefore, from the equation 1, we have fx is equal to x minus a whole square plus b square into q because r dash is equal to 0 and r is equal to 0 so remainder term is equal to 0 so only we have fx is equal to x minus a whole square plus b square into q because r or r dash dono 0 hai so remainder part jo hai wo 0 ho jayega so hamare paas rahega fx is equal to x minus a whole square plus b square into q this implies that fx is equal to this here we can break up in linear form x minus a whole square minus of i square b square then you can use a square minus b square formula you will get x minus a plus ib into x minus a minus ib into q by separating we have fx equal to x minus of a minus ib into x minus a plus ib into q. 
this gives that since fx is equal to x minus a minus b into x minus a plus b into q so x this quantity from first bracket this is a divisor of fx and this is also a divisor of fx so this gives that x minus a minus b is a factor of fx and by factor theorem and remainder theorem we get x is equal to a minus iv is a root of the equation fx is equal to 0 since this is a factor of fx so this x is equal to a minus b must be root of this equation which proves the theorem thank you very much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel